We're middle of race week really now. I've completed three races and two to go, but I've still not achieved what I want to achieve. OK. How many seals can you see? Zero. Zero? Has he gone at the top? Oh, he's still there, look. The depth of field of the riders is so strong. Now it's he who dares, and, and some riders have more to lose than others. I don't know where you draw the line, really. I, it's, it's tough. It's tough. You see one there. A bird or a sh shark? A shark. A shark? <laughs> I think you're lying. Obviously, the risks that are involved, you know, we, we try not to talk about them, I think. But there is a real reality of, like, going home without my husband, and it's a really awful thought. Last year, James had a really bad moment. He had this enormous wobble. We ride with James Hillier coming up to his fast corner, known as Balascari, tips it in there, and oh my no! That was for James Hillier. I think it was 160 miles per hour. My heart, like, just jumped, really. For the first time in my whole life, I had a panic attack, and because I genuinely thought James, you know, I thought this, this is it. I think James knows that um, I would love for him to retire from this. We've spoken for many years about, you know, just buying an old farm somewhere and we just live happily ever after. But I just have to trust that, you know, he's not, he's not going to ride beyond his limits. Sad news tonight that leading Manx TT racer Danine has died following fatal injuries sustained at a Churchtown section of the course. Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome to St. Danine's for this service of Holy Communion, um, and particularly this week, incredibly poignant with the loss of uh, Dan Neen, um, local guy, as we know. Um, and um, we remember now and in our prayers later on um, all those affected by uh, that incident. At TT, death's very much at the forefront. It's, it's a very prevalent shadow throughout racing. Most people won't talk about it until it happens. We can't eradicate suffering and death. You know, so we've got to deal with it. There's a balance in sharing grief, and it's the opportunity then for people to talk about death and what it means in human life. The song and his bricks will have his duty to get underway now. Ride safely, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Control out. The legacy ride on the Alamand happens every year, and it's a lap around the TT course. It's a community remembering everybody who's died. And actually, what we do when we do these memorial things, we bring those people back, not physically, but in mystery and uh, with some ethereal quality, back into the space in between us. There's some comfort in that, rather than just a total loss, I think. Dan's family, they wouldn't have wanted the racing to stop because Dan wouldn't have wanted it to stop. People say, how can it happen? How can we let this happen? The riders love it. That's as simple as they love it. And you ain't going to take that out of them.